Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle and Kenny, and we're over here at Oxmoor Toyota. You guys, we have the 2021, this is the Toyota Sienna. Now this is the XSE, so it has more of that sporty look to it. Yeah, you look at the wheels on this thing, and we'll get into it with a little walk around on that, but we're gonna do a driving video. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do some drone stuff. Nice. We're gonna get on the interior. And you haven't driven one of these yet. I have not, and I'm really excited. It's fun. Yeah, it's I... not like your typical minivan at all. Right. Uh, so yes, yeah, so it's got the blacked out wheels. It's a really cool vehicle. The XSE model, as Gabrielle was saying, is a sportier model to it. We did the grill and some of the headlights and mm -hmm. now the interior. This is not like the minivan that we grew up with as kids. This right. is much different. This thing, and it drives like an SUV. So I'm excited to get this thing out on the road, show you all a little bit about it. It's mm -hmm. cool. So starting off on the front, you have the LED headlights, you have that really sporty front grille. And now all of the Siennas for 2021 are hybrid. So you'll see that Toyota symbol has that blue, which is hybrid. It's got these cool chrome accents that I really like on the front too. It really yes. differentiates it from a normal minivan. It really does. Yeah, it's really nice, especially against that black too. Yeah. Now, as Kenny mentioned earlier, those wheels, you have 20 inch black alloy wheels really nice looking those are not minivan wheels there <laughs> they're not and now you know like he had mentioned he did say something about it drives more like an suv and it really does kind of look like an suv now it's taking kind of the lines that the 2021 toyota highlander has and yeah like right here that wave looks just like the 21 highlanders beautiful and then in the back of this, you're gonna have that blacked out Sienna. And then you have your, um, your hybrid XSC, really nice looking. Up on top real quick, you're going to have your black roof rails. And then why don't we uh, take a look on the inside? Sounds good. Now it's really gonna be nice that it has its hands-free side doors on that open hands-free. All you do is have to kick that little symbol down there. You have to have your key in your hand or your purse, but somewhere on you. So if you have groceries or a child, um, that's really gonna come in handy. So now that we have the Sienna, the doors opened up, you can really see how spacious it is. So in that front, I mean, you're gonna have the Softex leather seating. Uh, it's just you have a lot of space up there. Moving on to the second row, you're going to have a captain's chairs. Uh, the chairs do move forward and back. Just have your little lever right here and it will move. Uh, you also have like this orange stitching, which stands out against that black. Really nice, sporty. Uh, for the third, you're going to have a split third row. So that will come down um, or up if you have more people that need to be uh, seated. Yeah, and you've even got a USB plug and just a regular um, 110 plug here too, which is kind of nice for whatever your the yeah, kids definitely. or passengers back here, whatever devices they're working on. Yeah, I believe you have six USB chargers uh, throughout the vehicle. This is just a really spacious vehicle with a lot to it. So uh, let's take a look at the trunk. We've got yeah, some space yeah, back here, let's, so let's, take, let's take a look. All right, so let's open this up. Yeah, you do have a lot of space. So the third row uh, does have the stow and go. Uh, there is instructions here about how you do it. Um, you just want to pull this handle right here, pull back, super easy, and then just push down. And then if you want to bring it back up, pull up on the handle, pull this string, and it kind of clicks in place. And this is to recline it. So dude, and then you kind of pull it and then um, kind of push it back. So super easy. Yeah, and guess what? We have headphones back here. We didn't touch on this earlier. We did not. So up there, as we scroll up here and look, you can see that there is a section right there on the roof yes. and the ceiling. And that's for the DVD Entertainment Center. Yeah. So, Gabby, can you go up there and uh, drop that screen down? Yeah, let me do that. And this is a 11.6 inch. So that is, that is pretty nice. Yeah, you can see it from back here really well too. So your passengers in the back can watch the movie or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you also have the HDMI too, so. Gabrielle, I think we've uh, kind of done a nice little show off of this vehicle. You ready to get this thing out on the road? Yeah, let's take it for a drive. Let's go.
got this thing out. Let's take it for a little spin here. Yeah, take definitely. Take it up on the water sim. Let's uh, see what this thing has in it. I'll hit it. Nice little acceleration for a minivan. It does. It feels pretty good. Rides is smooth. I'm impressed with this thing. Uh, you know, you and I are looking at so many new vehicles for the whole group, and we see so many. You kind of get a little bit, I'd say, maybe a little jaded at some point since you're not really paying that much attention to them. This right. one has caught my eye, though, with what Toyota's done to a minivan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I mean, it, it, like I saw an older uh, Sienna the other day I was driving by and I was like, man, that compared to the new ones, I mean, right. they did a really good job with the whole redesign on the 2021s. Yeah, the old ones definitely did not look like an SUV. No, not at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> so one of the safety features that Toyota has is this lane departure assist. And what it does is it keeps you between the lines when you're not paying attention. So I've got it on right here on the screen. Maybe you'll see it up there in the camera. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm not going to turn on my, my left turn signal. Let's see what happens when I go to the line. See it? Yeah, it's you pulling feel you right it. Yeah, it on over. Right back to it. I'm, look, Mom, no hands, right? Right, yeah. So pretty neat <laughs> Disclaimer. feature. Disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. Do not try we're, this at home. Hey, we're trained professionals. We get <laughs> we paid are. to do this. We're professional drivers. Uh, so the lane departure assist is really nice also. If you've been driving for a while and you get a little groggy mm -hmm. uh, but here's what happens if you turn the blinker on and I start going across the lane it'll let you, you can see that it lets me go across yeah which is a nice feature too so as long as you're doing what you should be doing it's gonna take care of you I know one of my favorite features on Tacoma you and I've talked about this yours on the Highlander as well as this adaptive cruise control um, so I'm gonna set it here at just 61 miles an hour and you can see it, I think you can see it from up here that there has three bars in it and that's your distance that you're preset away from running into another vehicle right. so you can drop this down by hitting the little distance button here to it's not a one car length but it's a third of the distance of that the cars in front of you so it'll pull you back which is really nice too if you get a long drive you said you use yours on the way back to Buffalo, don't you? Yeah, I drive to Buffalo for uh, to see my family, and I mean, I I use it all the time. It's very, very, very nice. And like the, when you hit construction and whatnot, you know, you get a little nervous, but it does. It'll stop once construction and all the cars are stopping, and then once that that uh, traffic starts to uh, flow again, it'll speed you right back on up. So it's it's a nice feature. I love it. I it's just good for your legs too to not have to deal with just like pushing all the time. Yeah. Not like we're having to walk, but yeah. in that sense. Um, let's talk a little bit about this. So I mm -hmm. love this panel that's right up here. You got a lot of room. We were talking earlier about the amount of storage that's in here. There's a lot. You, uh, you'd mentioned like down below there's an area for like purse and stuff like that. Yep. You have this big kind of storage down here and it has like a rubberized um, feel to it. So, yeah. you know, if you put items that could possibly slip, I think it'll grip. Um, for me, I would put my purse down there if I'm driving. I really like that. It's it's really large storage space. Um, as far as up here, there is a wireless charger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you can yeah throw your phone on there, and you got a little button, and it will turn right on on right on. So that's awesome to have. Yeah, this thing has a really good sound system too, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it has JBL speakers. I think there's ten speakers throughout the vehicle. Can I get this in real life? <laughs> I just walk around with 10 JBL speakers. Seriously. It's nice though. I love it. It's got a nice sunroof. That's actually what our GoPro is attached to here. Mm -hmm. So we've got it stuck up there. So we can't really show that. But I think we showed it a little bit earlier anyway. Yeah, I think so. Um, cup holders. Let's talk cup holders. There are a ton of cup holders. Okay, so we're just going to count just up front, right? Yep. So you've got one, two. This thing comes up. Yep. Three, four. There's five, six. Seven eight. Seven eight. That's so we have eight cup holders, literally in the front. So if we're in the second or third row, so yeah. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I would say at least fourteen to sixteen cup holders. That that's great. That's a lot. It's a lot. You're gonna have a lot of beverages in this car. Yeah. Uh, I would think by the time you got through the eight just up front, there would probably need to be a pit stop. <laughs> probably so. Yeah. So I don't know at what point. That's awesome. I don't know what the cup holder to person ratio is, but we probably oh, need to ask Toyota about that. Yeah, that's so definitely So we'll, we'll a tweet at Toyota about that and see if they get back to us on what the cup to cup holder to person ratio <laughs> is in the 2021 Sienna. <laughs> that's um, great. So this one does come with navigation. You see that we've got that on. We're just cruising down uh, 
actually we're cruising, yeah, we're cruising down 70. Uh, we're gonna turn on Zorn and head back to the store here in just a few minutes. Uh, gosh, there's so many buttons on here, it's fun. Yeah. This is like a real control panel, it truly mm -hmm. is. You know, I like to play video games, and this is really exciting for me because I think I could do a lot of things with this. Yeah. Most of them would be wrong, but Probably. at least I could have a lot of buttons that would make sound and <laughs> cause me to not Probably. win. Yeah. Yeah, true. Oh, we've got uh, different drive modes too. That's right, yep. We... So that one I just clicked into a sport mode and you probably can't see it up there, but the, the background actually turns red there, so more like the emotional, you can feel it rev a little bit. Yeah, it does. And standard is where we were at. And then you can also turn it into the eco mode. Mm -hmm. And if you go to hit the gas, you can feel it doesn't really pop like the way the sport no, mode does. No, it doesn't. Does. That's mm -hmm. going 63 miles an hour. Yeah, and speaking about that too, um, as far as this vehicle, you're going to get right around like 36 miles per gallon per uh, really? city and highway. Mm -hmm. wow. Yep. Yeah, it's really nice for a vehicle this size. I mean, that's that's amazing. Yeah, and with all of Toyota's newest vehicles all coming out pretty much just in the hybrid mode, um, yeah. this one slots right in there with the Venza. Yeah. Also coming in hybrid only, uh, and also the Sienna get an all-wheel drive. Yeah, that a is true. A hybrid all-wheel drive minivan that gets 36 miles per gallon with a bunch of cup holders. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the undefeated cup holder champion of all automobiles. I love it. That's awesome. We'll have to do our research on that. <laughs> we will. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll try to catch everybody up on that. You got some good storage in here too. Um, yep, I think we push that? this button. There we go. Ooh, and cool. so yeah, you've got some uh, charger ports right here, mm -hmm. and that I mean that yeah, that's deep. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff in there. Oh, there's a, a USB right here, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you've got two back here, some charging ports as well. You've got two. Mm -hmm. So we do have the all-weather mats in here, which is really good if you have a, a family that you're carrying around, which typically you would in a Sienna. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you just had to go pick up a lot of drinks and you drove the Sienna because it had so many cup holders. Yeah, it. so if one spills, the uh, all-weather floor mats will uh, come in very handy. That's right, pull them out, spray them off, <laughs> <laughs> rinse like a repeat. You're ready to go. So, you know, we do have the sunroof controls over here. We also have where you can open and close the side doors, mm -hmm. sliding doors. Uh, when you don't have the ability to do the little cool kick you did yeah, earlier. The, open, yeah, that's right. It'd be pretty tough to do at 160 miles an hour to get out. Yeah. It's like some Jason Bourne stuff there. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I would not try to do that. You got all your controls right here for. Uh, Heating, cooling, you can do that. Control the rear from here as well. They have their own controls in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, dual climate control, which is really nice. One runs hot, one runs cold. All the things we just talked about. Yeah. kind of hot. And you said those seat heaters, you just turn on the seat heater, and I think you get pretty warm pretty quick. Yeah, so Are I had like it turbo? on three, oh. and I mean, it was like within a couple seconds, I was like, ooh, I feel that. So I turned it down to one, I feel better now. But uh, if it's a really cold day, those are awesome. Oh, blind spot monitoring, we didn't say that, but of course it comes standard. Heated, um, heated, heated door mirrors, mirrors yeah. yeah. Yep. Those are really useful. You know where I find those useful? On my Tacoma, even when it's not a super cold day, but sometimes if it's been like a foggy kind of mm -hmm. morning, like we had, I think it was Thursday morning, it was kind of foggy. Yeah. You can just turn on those heated mirrors and it'll clean those right off, which is Yeah, nice. that's nice. Yeah. I think we get a little spoiled with these Toyotas sometimes, all the stuff that's in them. I agree. Yeah. I'm not mad about it, though. You deserve it. Uh-huh, yeah, definitely. Well, I think that does it for a pretty good little uh, feel for what it's like to drive one of these things, ride in this. Um, if you guys, when you watch this video, if you have things that you'd like for us to cover on our next one, because you all that follow us, you know we do a lot of these. And so let us know what you'd like to see. We're happy to do that. Uh, if we don't know the answers, we'll bring in people a lot smarter than us. Yep. There are plenty of those around us. So <laughs> Definitely. They're just not in this video today. So uh, hope you all enjoy this. We'll get back to the store. Yeah, sounds good. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that walk around, that driving and the drone footage. But when I was driving this, it really does have a lot of power. It's kind of zippy there. I, I really enjoyed it. I might, I might need to purchase one. I'm excited. Um, but you guys, if you have any questions on this vehicle, if you'd like to stop in, uh, take a closer look, take one for a test drive for yourselves, let us know. I will have all of our information right here. Thanks, everyone. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.